The FDA is opening a safety review of diabetes drugs. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Kelsey Hubbard. On concerns that certain type 2 diabetes drugs may cause precancerous changes in the pancreas, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is conducting a safety review of certain medications used to treat the insulin-related disease. Companies that make the drugs included in the review are Bristol-Myers Squibb, Novo Nordisk, Merck, and Eli Lilly. So far, the FDA says it has not concluded that the medications cause or contribute to the development of pancreatic cancer. The Keystone XL Pipeline project is back in national focus as the debate over whether or not it serves the national interest deepens. At issue is the prospect that much of the crude oil flowing through the pipeline, which would end up being exported as refined products by U.S. companies. Supporters of the pipeline, which would carry heavy crude from Alberta, Canada, through the U.S. to Gulf Coast refineries, say the exports would be a boost to the U.S. economy, create jobs, and help reduce the trade deficit. Opponents say exporting the oil undercuts the original argument used to justify the project, which was to boost U.S. security by relying less on oil supplies from unstable regions. The Obama administration is expected to make a decision on the Keystone XL project by this summer. The financially strapped city of Detroit has a new turnaround chief. Kevin Orr, a bankruptcy attorney and partner at the law firm Jones Day in Washington, D.C., has been tapped to become Detroit's emergency financial manager. The position gives him sole power to restructure the city of 700,000 residents. Orr said he wouldn't rule out a bankruptcy filing by the city, but hopes to avoid one and says that if all the stakeholders in the beleaguered city work together, his turnaround work could be accomplished in six months. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day on What's News on WSJ Live.